So since I first spotted the maitake mushroom about uh, five years ago, I've been so excited about cooking it and eating it and describing to the world how to identify it that, that I forgot to mention the most important part. If you're not 100% that this is, in fact, a hen of the woods maitake mushroom, by the way, they're one and the same. Maitake is head of the woods. Anyway, if you're not 100% sure that that is in fact what you've identified, then don't eat it because you could die. So, if that is the objective, then by all means. Otherwise, make sure you know what, what you've got. So, I've talked about how to cook it, I've talked about how to make a tincture, and and that's about it. The only other thing that remains is if you want to share the wonderful experience of, of how delectable it is when you've cooked it immediately after harvest, and you're not able to because your company won't be arriving for a month or two, then the only other thing you can do is freeze it. And you run the risk of having it ice over and, and a lot of frost getting around it. But I don't think that, that, that the absorption of the water will affect it too much. It'll just take lo a little longer to cook. Um, so I would, I would seal it in plastic, put it in the, in the freezer while it's still fresh, so it'll still taste as fresh as possible without being too chewy when you do cook it. Then you'll thaw it, you'll... Um, You'll uh, try and get as much of the moisture out as possible from, by thawing it, and uh, then cook it in olive oil, salt, pepper, uh, baking it in the oven at 350, 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you like a little extra crispy, you can, you can also add another 5 minutes of broiling, and uh, you'll be good to go. Remember, this is what it looks like. Um, there are many varieties that look a little different than this. This is typical of what it looks like here in the, on the southern tip of Long Island. And um, these have a wide range from the northeast of the United States to Japan. And uh, happy hunting, happy harvesting, happy eating. Until next October. <laughs>